Hey, what up? It's LA in the house. What's crack a lacking? Well, we finna do some, you know, um, telling what's going on with you. How the life is treating you. What you gotta say. How y'all doing? Push the high button up in here. And I wanna tell y'all thank you for joining my channel. I send love and blessings to everyone out there, and I hope everyone is good. And I bless, and I'm asking for all kinds of guidance and love to the universe and to everyone, especially what we're going through as of now. Okay? So we're going to talk about it. What you want to know, Aries? So, Aries, it's on you. It's your turn. So, we're going to talk about you today. Okay, Aries. How y'all doing? What's up? Do you want to party up in here? That's what I'm talking about. Let's get to the real McCoy and stop the bull crap and all the talking. Okay, spirits, we're going to start with the moonology. First of all, would you like, share, and subscribe? So, this is get moved around to everyone and i would like to say thank you father in heaven god that created us oh gracious father thank you for coming to this table thank you for helping everybody that watches me and protect them with the good energy protect them which with their homes protect them with their family and protect them as we're on here and also put your so your Send your angels and warriors to help me, to protect me here. Thank you, Father. Amen. Let's get started. So we can get started here. Okay, first we're going to find out what moonology we're at, where we at at this moment. Okay, what's going on with you this week, Spirit? Well, two of them dropped, so we got a lot going. My finger, I hurt my finger. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. But okay, you have prosperity lies ahead. The new moon in Taurus. So we're going to put that down. Taurus is you on fire. You are showing up straight up from the mountain and the top of the everything. You says, me first. Me first, okay? So we're going to set that right there because I want to see if y'all can make sure y'all can see. We had two of them come out, so I'm going to say both of them, okay? Here we go. This one was conclusion. conclusions are within reach. In other words, in the full moon eclipse, you need to go. There's things that we're not seeing, which we all... In this new moon, there's new cycles that are going around. There's a lot of energy. There's a lot of things and conclusions that we want answers to right now, don't we? Where is your love? What's going on? What happened to it? Where is it baking at? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like they say, everybody want that bacon. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And that's literate sense. I'm trying to be decent about what I say. Okay, first of all... Spirits, what else is going on this week that is going on with Aries this week? What's going on with Aries? Okay, Aries are already flying with cards. We'll start off with. Okay, now you have the Page of Cups. It looks like somebody... It's requirement, but they want to add. They actually want to offer you the this. Um, from what I understand, this this um, page of cups. But we're going to go in more detail. A person who wants to help someone wants to help you along the way and be a good friend. However, you may find yourself having to help this person. Sometimes you got friends coming out the woodwork. They want to help you, and they want to help. Oh, I'll help you. I'll come to the rescue, Aries. I will give you a helping hand. But then, are you willing to take the help? Are you willing to just sit over there and ignore that noise? As they say, I don't hear that noise. Okay? So, we're going to look over here. We got the nine. The nine of coins. Mm-hmm. 
really do, really do, okay? The nine of coins, okay? Okay, there could be, you know, um, basically uh, many of your dreams are approaching you. Now is for financial gain. So you can reach your goals if you start getting out there, Aries. You just got to go and hit the dough. Say, hey, I'm gone, and I'm going to get to the top whether I'll, people believe it or not. That's how that works. Because some people do not believe that, you know, you're going to go there. What other messages do we got for Aries this week? Okay, you have the King of Cups. Okay. There is um, basically a compassionate male and a calm, caring, sympathetic, wise, balanced, kind, charming, romantic, family oriented easygoing, spiritual, faithful, and loyal person that is coming. They they want to say, I'm here, Aries. Do you see me? I'm your king of cups. <laughs> you know, I'm the cup for you, baby. <laughs> you know how that goes. But everybody always want to seem like, I don't know what it is. If you're single, you get a lot of the options, but once you're taking People always come out the wood work. They wanting all your cup. If my voice sounds different because, you know, I kind of lose my voice. It comes in and out sometimes. So y'all bear with me, okay? So I'm not trying to sound kind of funny. It's just my voice is kind of uh, acting like it's acting up. It's acting up. It's like acting up. You know, but it happens a lot. So the King of Cups, you know, is an air sign that wants to offer you a cup. That cup. <laughs> That's funny. Because you know what I'm saying? That's funny, air signs. Okay. Uh, why is the King of Cups here, basically? What drove the King of Cups to come here? What's going on here, Spirit? What's going on with the King of Cups? Okay. We have two cards. Mm -hmm. Here we go. We're going to take this new beginnings. Okay. You got some creative sparks going on. Some new passions. Your energy is getting exciting. You're accepting new challenges. Some of you want to set a new challenge in your life. You want challenges to hit you. You're going to be hitting it like somebody just put some thorn to your butt. As they say. Literary sense. Like a fork to your butt. But anyway. But then there's some manipulation and some illusions and some stuff going on with the um, magician card. Some of you got some in insecurities, lacks of self-confidence. You know, you just feel untrustworthiness. You know, you just, you're not feeling it. Something's going on in your life. You, 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 you're going to, you're just missing. You, you're dealing with you feel like somebody's being a trickery to you in your life. In other words, I think this King of Cups done pissed you off a little bit. And he ain't what he plays to be. And you don't know whether you should, you know, you don't want to deal with that. But then you got the hangman. Some of you have, you feeling a trap. You have lack of direction, uncertainty in your sacrifices. You're waiting, contemplating, and you're stuck. Some of you are kind of waiting on this person. Whether you want to admit it or not, you're kind of waiting on this King of Cups. But you know what I'm saying? You got to understand. If they ain't coming and they got some other things they got to do, you got some things you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Don't make yourself just, um, I'm here for you to dog. Because ain't no dogs here. And then you got the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. It's just that you feel disorganized, some conflicts, lacks of teamwork, lack of growth, poor work ethics, unwillingness to learn, no determination, no motivation, poor quality. You know, some of you don't have the push, the go, but it's there, but you're not pushing yourself to that limit. You're sitting back thinking that, well, I can wait till tomorrow. Let me tell you something, Aries, get off the pot this week. 
Start doing your dreams. Start figuring out what you want to be, what you want to do. Trick, if the king of cups, he don't come back or whoever this is, don't want you, oh well. There's always, after you get what you want first, you got a clean house. Get what you want first before you can even connect to another person that just, to me, is playing games, okay? So, anything else this week we need to talk about, Spirit, for my um, Aries? Okay, hold on now. You're doing too much. Okay. Let's see. We got three cards here. Some of you feel like in the situation you was done unfair by that person. Somebody used, they, they tried to abuse their power and uh, they just, just not equal with you right now. That King of Cups, that's what I'm reading. Then you got uh, the Two of Wands in reverse. You have fear of change. You know, you're kind of restricting your options. You have lack of plan planning in your life, fear of the unknown, staying put, cancel plans and travels. Some of you are just got fear going on, which I don't blame you. Right now is not the time to do too many traveling because uh, you can come back and travel and get something else. So I understand that. And we have the King of Wands, which is a leader in control, confidence, uh, very experienced, proud, passionate, loyal, fearless during decisions, hold options, protective. There's somebody in your life that is um, very protected and they're guarded, but they like, they're very confident and they want to be, uh, they would try to take, they're trying to take a lead of, uh, leadership role. I think that might be you this week. But basically, what I see this week is you are sitting and thinking things will get better with someone else. You're focusing on someone else, whether you want to not think it or not. You might say, oh, I'm not thinking about that person. Oh, that's a lie. That can't be, man. But I'm going to tell you something. Your mind is somewhere. Some of you, if this don't resonate with you, you can try another time or come back and find something that resonates with you. But don't get mad at the messenger because you want to take a cup. You thinking, oh, I put this out and he going to come running. No. This person is just is lagging back. They all in their feelings. But it's okay. Because, let's see, what is the outcome to this whole situation of this King of Cups spirit? The Knight of Cups. Somebody going to offer you an emotional offer. Some romantic proposal. Taking action. A charming, attractive, dating, gentle, caring, sensitive, grateful, peace. And, and loving the dreamer. So this Knight of Cups, it's like emotional offer. Somebody's going to offer you, going to come out the blue. When, when you think it's over, it's not over for what I'm feeling. This Knight of Cups is more or less trying to say what, well, here I am, here I am. But let me see if this Knight of Cups is kind of like it wants to offer you the cup, but will you take it? That's the catch. Because this person has got some, um, you done gave him some, um, some straight up, straight up, let me tell you now, straight up, let me tell you now. <laughs> I don't know what that is. You done told him straight up. You ain't having it, you know. You just, I don't know what's wrong with people. You know, they come in, they got to think, which it's nothing wrong with thinking. But don't think people going to sit back and wait for you to offer the cup and there's never another person that might creep in your zone. Yep. This got to do with the fire side. It's, um, 
his own king of cups. Far side gonna get offered. This king of cups gonna come back trying to offer you the cup because you done got tired. And let me put it frankly, you ain't taking no more, no more literary. E -e 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 Go home and get you some coffee because that's going to take a long time to fix because you ain't here. <laughs> you kind of like, you sit here and let me wait. <laughs> Aries do not like to wait on no one. And if you think you're going to offer a cup and come later and talk about, oh, I offered the cup I was thinking, by the way, I messed up. I want to come back and choose you. You might get something thrown at you. <laughs> Better be careful with that. I wish you luck with that. Because Aries do not like, when they feel like you mess with their feelings, they can just as much, they can just match being a dog just like you was the one to dish it out. So whoever you are, you dish it out, you better be able to take it with the Aries. Because they're going to challenge you to get back in their life. Because they don't, they don't, they don't know whether to trust you. They don't know if it's going to. You know, you're going to take it. You're going to go warm. And, hey, let me hold you tonight. Let me sit by the fire. They don't know if you're going to accept that. Because Aries, when they're blowing upset with you, you got a lot of kissing butt to do. And that's literary sense. Don't take that personal. Because you know how people is on her. Look what she just said. She just said, no, I'm just telling you what I see. So don't get mad at the messenger because this is L.A. talking to you and I'm going to do the real thing, take the real deal, and we're going to hopscotch together, okay? Now we're going to the angels. Angels, what messages? Oh, Lord, Jesus, they flying out. They must got something to say because you got the magician card came out. Magic is alive in your life. What you need to be a success as a successful, you know, you can manifest your success if you believe it. You can do it. First of all, Aries, they're telling you, you you are the magician. You can make anything come true that you allow to come in your space because you rule magic. Don't care how it is. You can look at a book and write it and it's going to happen. Okay. That's what it is. It is what it is. Then you says here, you focus on the negative things not turning out the way you were expected. Forgiving of self or others. Everything happens for a reason. Look for the hidden blessing. In other words, you're thinking, well, you got your hand crossed like, oh man, I just been done dirty, done rolled on me. I feel like my life is everybody done rolled on me and turned circles on me and feel sorry for yourself. But I'm going to tell you something. You might as well dust your shoes off. Get your hands off your hip and go get busy and get magicianing what you deserve. Magic is the word. Magic is what you get. If you believe it, it'll happen. Stop worrying about negative while worrying about well I can't fix it tricky if you can't fix it ain't nothing you can do about it change it for the moment just move on get your life they all say get your life get your life <laughs> shoot leave me alone now they want to manage your resources wisely extremities in how you give or receive money, time or emotional, smart business decisions, seeing things as black and white, bling charitable. In other words, they want you to start putting your pennies, saving it, helping others if you can, and realizing this world is effed up in literary sense right now. So you need to get your t together. And I don't want to be literary to say it because it might be kids on here, no disrespect. But the thing is, we got to start being leaders instead of followers. Trick this. If you want to change something,
put it on paper and burn it as the spirits and magician it. The angels say you are the magician, Aries. So if you want to write it down and you want to believe it, it's going to happen. But you got to believe it. That's the problem. You got short-lived belief this week. This week got you all in your head. You worried about this person ain't talking to you. Oh, they done ditch me. Oh, they don't want to talk to me. Oh, they done blocked me. Oh, well, they'll become begging, begging, beg, asking forgiveness. And the thing you need to do is do like this. Go do what you got to do. It's your decision. But like I said, if they ghost you once, they might ghost you again. So you make sure they know what they done, whoever this person is that needed to clean something. Because it sounds like to me, you got knocked off somewhere else, so you come back to the door. Knock, knock. Who there? It's me. <laughs> and here go Aries. Ain't saying sh nothing. They just sitting at the door like, is you serious? Before they cuss you out, <laughs> you better take off and take off running. Because when the Aries mad, man. But I'm going to tell you something. The other side, they got a little, man, there's other sides that can be a little hot and ready too. But anyway, I ain't going to go there. Aries ain't the only feisty people in the bunch. But it's like this. It's the LA in the outs. You really would, well, just basically make a decision on what you want to do with your life and get your life and be happy and get your dreams as if you will live forever. Because tomorrow ain't promised. But today, you're alive, so it is promised. Period. And that's all I got to say. Come back next time. Put the dial so it can spread around so everybody can see the love and the kindness. Because, you know, I'm sending love to y'all. Hope y'all have a bright day. Push the dial for me. Push the like button. Come on, let's do this. Let's get it hyped up. Holla!